Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Divinity Original Sin. So I'm back at the homestead right now. What I want to do is actually see if there's a better rogue available. Not that Taxile's not great and all, I really, really like her. But, you know, let's let's see if we can't find a better one right now. So, let's quickly skip through the level 1s, although I think if you grab the level 1s, they gain experience or something, and you get to level up the level them up the way they want, but they don't have any starting skills, so that's a little bit crappy. So let's go ahead and get to the, uh, what, uh, we're level 6 now, so we should be able to hire level 7. There's a level 7 ranger, two level 7 rangers. Okay, level 6 rogue here. Uh, what a rush, light stepper, my precious. And still no backstab, how can you not have a backstab talent on a freaking rogue? Doesn't make any sense. But uh, you do get all these cool... S we, we keep this, which is awesome. We can stun. This is a cloak and dagger, which is great. This fast track is awesome. What's this do? Poison your target deals 5 to 7 piercing damage. Don't care about that. Uh, what does this do? Inflict bleeding. Meh. And a knockdown target. Meh. I'd like one with invisibility, if possible. Uh, anyways, so no, not level 6 rogue. Level 7 ranger, honestly, I, I, our ranger's doing perfectly fine, so I'm not gonna bother with the ranger. But, uh, level 7 ranger, shadow blade, wizard, rogue. Level 7 rogue. My precious light stepper, what a rush. How the fuck? What kind of weird rogue is this? Why? What, what are these things? Divine lights? Of no. What? Man at Arms 1. Aerial Thurge. Scoundrel 2. No, that's not what I'm looking for at all. Level 7 Witch. Alright, well, you know what? That was a bust. There's nothing that I am interested in right now, so... Are you sure you want to, uh... Yes, let's exit this. Where did Taxile go? I had to unequip her, actually, to, uh... Where'd she go? I have to actually remove her so that I can actually look at what's available, which to me doesn't make much sense. Okay, there you are, Taxa. I thought you had disappeared on us for a while. I require your services one mo once more. Hopefully you didn't lose all the gear I had on you. No, okay, all the items are still there. Perfect. I could never part without Taxile. Taxile is my new favorite rogue in the world. Okay, so let's go ahead. Balsam, like I said at the end of the last episode, we had some stuff to identify. So let's do that right now. Because loot is everything in this game. Uh, lore Master, Bartering, Air Resistance. I'm going to send, actually, Balsam. This is actually pretty good for you right now. Equip that. You're gonna. Our Lore Master just went up even more now. Nice. Uh, identify. Dexterity. So you get Perception 1. Yeah, not nearly. I mean, we lose a lot of armor. But we get Perception 1, though. This, this character does not get hit often in combat. And Perception is awesome. Way better than Constitution for our particular uh, playstyle. That's an interesting decision. We lose a lot of armor, but again, we do not get hit a lot in combat. Perception is definitely worth more. I almost feel like doing it. Let me ponder more on that idea. Let's see what this one's... One-handed weapon does here. Don't really care because we're not using any. Send it to Kyle. We'll sell it and identify this. So, armor specialist in leadership. Armor 4. Let's send it to Kyle. Kyle currently does not have a very good um, helmet. Yeah, this is actually technically better. We get armor specialist and leadership. I'm going to go ahead and equip this. Sell the rest of this junk. Now, what do I do with Balsam, though? Do I... Equip this. I lose armor, which I don't like, but I gain a perception. I lose a constitution, hence a lot of resistances. I guess not. As good as perception is, the armor we currently have is way better. So let's give this to Kyle. And, uh, yeah, let's go back to town, sell some stuff, and try once and for all to figure out who the hell murdered what's-her-face. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so... I went back to the original cr uh, crime scene and remember that there was a chest that I wasn't able to open. So with Taxile and our lock picking being so high right now, I was able to open it and there is a letter from the Duke here. So we're going to go ahead and take this. And there we go. Journal updated as I would th In you know, his think. Defense, not much rhymes with murder. 
Right, so there we go. Hmm, if, the, if that's not enough evidence really to, to really put an end to this freaking quest, I don't know what is. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, a few things happened. I realized that I had a pretty good spell on um, on Zoe that I hadn't learned yet, which is immune to burning. You know how freaking good this is going to be in combat? I mean, that's just crazy. Let's just take a quick look at what else she's waiting for here. Um, I'm, I, I, I found this. I'm going to keep it. I might use it, uh, use it at some point. I think it's pretty good, actually, because uh, absorbing half of all physical damage dealt would be great to be able to cast this on Roderick in those tricky situations, so I think that would definitely replace the farce here, I think, is what I would do. And uh, then I got a whole bunch of good ones here. I mean, I got the, uh, the, the Ice Shard that I would definitely want to combo with uh, Bitter Cold, which will make this do a lot more damage. Um, summon an Ice Elemental would definitely be awesome for combat, which at level 7 for sure I'm going to get. Heal 25 Vitality Points, so as soon as we're level 7, we're going to remove um, minor healing. And then I also bought this one here that requires level 10, which is Cure Blind, Mute Disease, Infectious Disease, Bleeding, and Cripple, which is a little bit similar to um, Balsam's Cure. This cures Bleeding, Cripple, and Disease, so not... I mean, this is good, but not as good as the other one, so I might not even bother. But, I mean, I found it, so I, I'm like, well, I might as well just keep it. I, I don't feel like selling it. I mean, we have, an, we have a lot of money right now. And uh, the perfect murder. What's this? Used to read. I still have... Oh, this is a thing that I can't sell. Okay, well, let's just... Whoops. Let's just plop it in here. All right, there we go. So, let's go ahead and uh, go to uh, What's-His-Face. And hopefully, finally... Put an end to this freaking mystery murder thing. Okay, so we're back. Let's hopefully. My friend Richard. Yes, your friend returns. Let's talk about this freaking murder. And uh, in regards to Jeff Weiss, on the subject of this letter. Nothing happened. My friend Richards. Until we meet again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. I guess I gotta go talk to them. The, like, do I arrest them? <laughs> My friend returns. Nah, I've already done all this. What the hell? Actually, what do you have for sale there, bro? Anything that I can use? No, this is all stuff I sold. Well, most of it, anyways. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really confused right now. I mean, I, I gave the letter. Nothing is happening. Let me go all the way back to Esmeralda.
knew it was Evelyn. Who are you? <laughs> that would be funny, but Until okay, anyways. Right, till we meet again. Man, this this thing is uh, is, uh, is is driving me crazy. All right, so I I where the hell's Evelyn? I know where where the house is. I'm not sure. I know where she is though. Oh, Source Hunter's Journey. Okay, Source Hunter's business. Okay, and the Council's wife. Ah, oh, the healer chick. Right. Let's 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 go see the healer chick. All right. So this is Evelyn's place. Let's talk to this guy again. Maybe he's gonna tell us something. Whoa. Okay, well, uh, the plot thickens, obviously, so let's, let's get this going. Do you have anything that I want, mister? You probably you have a lot of cash. You're like one of the only remaining people in uh, Sisal right now that has cash for me. We're at 14k, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, anyway, so let's take our leave. I mean, he marked the place on our map. It doesn't really matter, because I know where it is. Uh, empty flask potion. Uh, it is considered stealing. Am I allowed opening this? Uh, folded shirt, empty flask potion, Evelyn's backpack. Ah, oh. <laughs> freaking, I've been looking all over that fucking thing. Uh, key to Telron's back room. i take that as well. Oh, okay, it probably opens this. Yeah. There's a key here. We'll grab the key. Nice. Send this to Belsum. I mean, I guess I could steal everything here. I don't feel like it, though. What's in here, though? Let's check the desk. Only Taxile steals, and it's uh, when the others are not looking. That's how I'm role-playing Taxile. Is that she steals on her own time, pretty much. Um, Alright, so... Cool, the plot thickens. Evelyn's house, I know exactly where it is. Let's take a quick look at the journal, though. Uh, mysterious murder. Tell us the field hurry suggested. Right, so that's where we're going now. Actually, it's right here. Thanks for putting that location on our map there, uh, buddy. <laughs> like, we've known about this place forever. Now we can finally just open it. Ah, oh, finally. Ooh. Autosave. That's usually the signs of something bad to happen. Let me just rotate the map. Why can't I open this? There we go. Let's take a look in the chest. Reveal spell. Right. So we're going to be revealing her shortly. Secure lockbox. I know we found the key a long ass time ago. Send this to Balsam. Oh, this is a level two. Uh, uh, level two, a lore master. That means that weapon's probably pretty good. Parchment, who cares? Letter from Conduit. It could be important. What's in here? Right, we'll send that to Zoe. What's in here? What's this? Evelyn's diary. Ooh. Inventory. So, first things first, let's read this. 
Oh, that didn't do anything, so that means I already had it. Let's send this to uh, Zoe. Letter from the Duke of Farrell. Did I read this one? Right. Let me just stick this in here in my uh, my bag of uh, junk, really, is what I'm doing. Well, junk. I mean, it's, I guess, junk, but it might be useful. I don't know. So instead of selling it or losing it, I'd rather just keep it in there. Uh, leather from the conduits. Right. I'm going to keep that as well, because it could be important. Let's go ahead and do that. Well, that pretty much confesses she did it. So, Madam Evelyn has a hideout somewhere along the northwestern beach. Seems to me that should be the next stop in our investigation. Right, the northern, uh, northern, northern beach. That's that's probably here. There we go, Evelyn's secret lair. That's ex and that's where we have to go because I've cleared up everything else. There's absolutely no nowhere else to go because the church is level eight, nine units uh, enemies. We can't go. I've cleared up the hill. The, done the, I mean, I've done pretty much everything I could possibly do now. So we're gonna go ahead and here, and we're gonna we're gonna do this, man. Finally, the plot tickets. Oh my god, I get so excited again. All right, rock and roll. So what do I want to do before? What does that reveal thing do? I sent it to Zoe. Hmm. I mustn't have used it correctly. Right. You must not have... Let's send this to Kyle. It's probably important for where we're going now. Uh, this is done. Everything here is fine. Everything here is fine. Okay, everything is good. Manage everything perfectly. So we shall be going to the secret lair. And we're finally going to do this. Uh, what do you have? What? To a villa... Oh, yeah, we're saving up. Um, I, I'm not, I don't even know what I want to... Wait, you're... No, you're... Uh... Huh? <laughs> confused. I'm super confused. Now we're not gonna waste with anything in here. Crash and ship. Right, lore master. We might save for lore master. Probably beef up bow. That's probably why I'm keeping two points here. But I have an available point here. Did you level up and I didn't know? Oh my god. Okay. Um. Wow. Cool. Okay. Let's level up. <laughs> Had no idea this was a thing right now. I didn't know she gained a talent, which are very important. So what does she have? Walk it off. Don't care about. Stench. I mean, stench could be good, but she's not being f attacked that much in combat. Sidestep, extra chance to evade hits. No, that'd be good for probably taxile. Scientist, we don't care. Politician, don't care about. Pack mule, no. My precious. No, that reminds me, I have to fix my gear before I forget. Uh, leech heals you, no, we don't care. Know it all, no. Glass cannon. Ooh, glass cannon doubles your recovery action points. Nah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Five, no. Far out man. Far increases the range of spells and scrolls by two meters. No, not for you. Escapist, don't really need it. Elemental, f no. Courageous, no. Bully against opponents that are slowed, crippled, or knocked down. It could be interesting. Bigger and better. That could be good. I'm gonna go with all skilled up, actually. It's the only, uh,. Then again, bigger, better. Nah, skilled up. That means we have four points now. Do I up her bow to do more damage? I kind of like that idea, to be quite honest. Don't really need more skills on her right now. I like the ones we have. And the ones that we can purchase aren't very interesting. Oh, and then of course there's obviously Lore Master. Yeah, Lore Master is actually pretty strong, and I want to beef it up as much as possible. So we're gonna do that. Actually, we're gonna go Lore Master. There we go. I didn't know you leveled up. You haven't. You haven't. You still have one point to use. Okay, so uh, Balsam leveled up without me even freaking realizing it. Well, there you go. That's done. Everything else here is clean, good. So we're on our way now. To to do this. Is there anything? A reveal. What was the other one? We got something else. Oh yeah, the uh, zombie painting scroll. Not sure what that's about. 
to keep these things because it could be very important and I do not want to sell them. Everything else is fine, so on our way to the whatchamacallit. Alright, so let's do this. Let's uh, begin our uh, thing here. First things first, Evelyn's Diary... Sh yeah, right, okay, so we found the location. We're gonna get to the bottom of this one. So, uh, just so I can refresh my memory here, we are here... Yeah, going up here doesn't really do anything, as far as I remember. Because we had come... Oh, I see... S I see some enemies. What level are they? Level sixes. Yeah, we could probably wipe those guys out. In fact, we might do that battle and call it quits on this uh, particular episode. Where did I come from? Yeah, we came from up here, right? Anyways, we came from the other side somehow. It's... And you had all here, we explored this, this is where we found the gate, then I turned around before doing anything, right? Okay, so this is actually where we want to be. Let me, uh... Nah, whatever, they're level 6, we should be able to do this. How many are there? Seems to be four of them. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's five. They're all level 6, so we should be able to do it. This shouldn't be an issue. Let's go ahead, stop being such wusses, and let's do this. Seems these thugs are angling for a fight. In right. that case, the fight that I'd we say get. we ought to oblige them. Okay, so what to do first? Um, you are probably a rogue. Seaside thug. Seaside. You're right. It doesn't really tell us what they are. Um, really, I have more initiative now on. I thought our marksman would go first. Anyways, what to do? I mean, I want to teleport someone. We're probably too far, though. These guys are crossbows. This guy's sword, sword. Right. I thought there was five of them. Oh, yeah, the other guy's here, and he's also melee. So what we want to do is actually teleport one of these guys. Uh, we have to move quite a bit, though. I'm not sure I'll be able to do it this turn. So what I'm going to do is cast Far Seer on you. We're going to chill is... Okay, I can move three action points, which we will do, which brings us, like, right here. We're going to go ahead and chill. Actually, I should do Rain. Yeah, see, this is what the advice people have given me, and I'm still not even doing it. Let's, uh, let's do rain, wet these guys up, then I can freeze them with the chill, because they're already wet. And if I had, like, an electrifying skill, it, it would work very well, but I don't. Um, right, so your turn. 68%, 74. 83. I'd rather go for the melee guys right now. Right, I can do precision stance. I can shoot twice. At 100%. Nice. There we go. Ooh. Well, the burning shouldn't last too long because of the rain, I would assume. Uh, speaking of, I actually have immune to burning, so I can actually... Should have cast it right away. Um, do I run in there? Target is too far. I can run to this guy. There we go. Knocked him, knocked him right on his ass. Conserve my points. Oh, he's doing good poison. Oh, nice combo, man. We might lose Kyle. Oh, these guys are pretty annoyingly strong, actually. Okay, so let's go and do fast track. I don't want to get burned. Let me move... Right here, for one. Move here for two. Can't stun, but I could get a hit in. There we go. Serve your points, it's your turn again, probably, yep. 
Yeah, baby. Oh, come on. There we go. I forgot to fix my gear. That's true. Kill. There we go. For the kill. Save your points. Right. Now, you are going to have to be very important here. Uh, we're going to have to cast a heal on Roderick. I'm also going to cast immune to burning. Too far. Oh, range is only five meters. That sucks. Damn it. All right, let's do a chill. Oh, hang on. Remove spell. Let's do chill. Who do I want to chill? Side thug. This guy's knocked down. These rangers are really annoyingly hard. Actually, can't reach this guy. Too far away. I don't want to get burned. Actually, I can chill the guy that's knocked down. He's knocked down for only one more turn. Actually, no, that'd be stupid. Uh, this is the guy I really want to chill. Okay, whatever. We'll chill this guy here. Or this girl, rather. Whatever this thing is supposed to be. And, uh... Conserve my points. Keep shooting here. I'd like to kill this guy off, actually. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Because this guy's pretty strong. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my... St no, not static. My, uh, stunning arrow. Right, too far. Fuck. Um, 22 meters. This is... Not sure how far I can shoot. How much does this cost? Really, I can only move one action point. Fuck. Ah, uh, that's not gonna do much. Let's move here, I guess. Maybe that'll make a difference? Nope. Hit this guy, though. There we go. Stunned. So we got two characters that can't do much right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use a potion. Do I need it? I won't be able to do anything else. I got two more units to act, but one of them's frozen, one of them's stunned. So only this guy will get a hit on me. I'd actually like to on uh, this guy too, eh? Whatever, I'm gonna take a chance. There we go, 80 damage. Serve your points. This guy's gonna get a shot on us. What's he doing? Ooh, he went for tax. Tax out took a beating. Those crossbows are deadly ass. Wow. Okay, let's go ahead and use a potion here. I'm going to have to take some damage moving out. Thirty-six. That's not too bad. Let's start focusing this guy down. Oh, come on. I hate when that happens. There we go. I can kill her, though. Alright, teleport time for sure. Target is out of sight, really? Target is too... F why, why out of sight? I can move a lot. I can move four action points. So I'm actually going to move two. Right here. Target is out of sight. I don't get it. Do I have something diseased on me right now? This guy's invisible? No, it's... Why are they out of sight? They're right here. God damn it. Good, I can do immune to burning on Kyle, which I will do. Immune to burning for three turns. Staff of Magus, let's try to kill off this guy here. It, that didn't work. Your turn. Well, we can finish this one off, which we, we will do. I will remove Inspired Loyalty, though. Alright, Inspired Loyalty. The uh, precision thing. 81% chance. Actually, on second thought, I will keep it on. Kill this guy. There we go. Alright. You know what? Move two, because we seem to be f far away from the enemies right now. Okay, Kyle. It's time to shine. Kill this guy. Please don't miss. 
There we go. And tax leveled up. Nice. Oh, he missed. Nice. Okay, well, it's time to focus this guy down, actually. I'm going to go ahead and move right next to him. I'm going to do a stun. Nice. So we should have this now. We took some damage, but, I mean, it worked out pretty well. I might have used my rain too soon, though. I don't think I had to use it right away. I'm going to have to remember to cast uh, Immune to Burning on Kyle as soon as possible in combat because the radius is only 5 meters, which is not very much. Um, I'd like it to be a bit more than that. I am a mage, after all, and a support mage at that. So you'd think I'd be allowed to cast, you know, Immune to Burning on someone that's, you know, 50 meters away. But anyways. Uh, there we go. Conserve your points here. Well, it's time to teleport now, so we're gonna... Target is out of sight. I don't get this. I'll grab you. That's weird. Oh, we'll drop you here. 83 damage. That's a lot of damage. And... Conserve your points. You. We can remove the precision I would have seen now. Kyle's turn. Nice, the poison worked. Oh, stunned Kyle. Crap. This guy's stunned. I actually want to finish this one off here. Let's finish this guy. Or this girl. There we go. And then we'll come back here. There we go. Serve. Uh, heal on Kyle. I love this game, man. This game is so, so freaking so awesome. Um, yeah, Staff of Magus. I have to start using my shot, short key. Uh, <laughs> I keep clicking on them, and it's much faster to just click the one, two, three, or four. I don't know why I haven't been doing that. All right, so this should be it now. Well, close. Ooh. This guy's pretty tough. I wonder why. War Master. Control. Chance to be hit 45. I don't understand what that means. Chance to be hit 45. Damage 70 to 108. Wow. Armor 6. Resistances we don't know. We don't have enough Lore Master. So our Lore Master is almost to the point where we can f see everything on the enemy now, which is going to be so freaking awesome. Um, that's a lot of damage that this character has. Holy crap, crossbows, eh? Keep that in mind. If you uh, want to start over a game, um, I think I would as well try the crossbows out. They seem to be quite strong. Okay, so... Yeah, just... There we go. Finish this guy off. So there we have it. All this is done. Let's go ahead and pick up the... Uh, oh, charming arrows. Nice. Knockdown arrows. Nice. The cooking pot we don't really need. Uh, what else? There's a wooden box here to take a look in. I'm just going to move it. You never know. This is my new thing now is that I move them all the time just to see if there's anything underneath. Cooking pot, we don't care. This episode's actually been uh, going on for a little while here. I'm actually going to have to put a cut. Summon Undead Warrior Scroll. Wowzers. Dark magic. Yeah. Level 6 skeleton. A level 6 skeleton. That's pretty cool. Send this to Zoe. Nothing in there. Let me just move this. Move this as well. Nope, nothing there. Just take, check uh, the chest out. What's this? Metal armor. Oh, it's got some value. We'll obviously grab it. And uh, cooking pot. Like I mentioned, we don't care. Exploration. More stuff. You know what? I'm going to put a cut though in this episode. And when uh, in the next one, we're going to level up uh, Taxile. We'll take a quick look at our loot. There's some stuff to identify. And then we will continue on. We're getting there, man. We're getting to the point where we're going to find the secret hideout and uh, finally put a rest to this whole, you know, Source Hunter uh, business thing, which has been going on for quite some time. But thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time.